Good morning students. Hope you all are doing fine. And you must be making the best use of this lockdown period. So students moving forward, as you all know that the first chapter is about growing plants. We all know that there are few basic characteristics that up that all the living things show. Okay, if we'll say the living things that are present around us, they include the plants, the animals, plants and animals, both of them, they show certain characteristics like both of them, they breathe, they grow, they reproduce and they die. We are here again and again using one term that is reproduction. Now the question arises what is reproduction? As you all can see reproduction means producing one of its own kinds. Means for example a cat gives birth to a kitten, human beings they give birth to baby in a similar manner plants also propagate or reproduce to increase their number. If reproduction is not there, if this phenomenon is not seen in the living beings, then that particular species, that particular plant or that particular animal would come to an end after few years. Now, plants, they basically reproduce by two methods. One is sexual reproduction and the other one is asexual reproduction. Before we go further, we all should know that when we are talking about plants, in plants, there are two main kind of parts, reproductive parts and vegetative parts. Reproductive part includes the flower, the seed and the fruits. Whereas non-reproductive parts, they include the stem, the roots and the leaves. Now, we all have seen so many plants around us and usually all those plants, they bear flowers. Therefore, they are known as flowering plants. Flowers are the major reproductive organ of any plant. They change into fruits and then they bear seeds and when you sow those seeds into the soil, again you get a new plant. Right? For example, during your lo lockdown period, if you come across uh, eating an apple or a mango and if you're going to collect those seeds, just try to sow them in any pot which is available there, which is available nearby to you. And if you will keep on watering that plantlet, that small, that, uh, that sown seed, a small plantlet will arise from it after few days. Right? And if you will still keep on watering that plantlet, that plantlet will turn into a new plant that will bear few structures, which will include the stem, the root, the leaves and the flowers. Now, this flower is the main reproductive part of a plant and we can further classify a plant into many parts. As you all can see on the screen, there is a very beautiful diagram showing the parts of a flower. The major parts of a flower includes its sepals, petals, carpal and stamen. Sepals, as you all can see in this diagram are the two small green leaf-like structures. They are usually present at the base of the flower which protect the flower.
flower at the bud stage. Now, when we move further, those red colored petals, you all can see, are very attractive. Usually, they are brightly colored and at times, they also have fragrance so that they can attract the small insects. Later on, we are going to study why these petals are colorful and fragrant. Now, moving ahead better, we have stamen. Now, stamen, M-E-N, as the last three letters of this word tells us that they are the male reproductive part of any flower. Stamens include anther and filaments. Anthers, they carry pollen grain inside them and these anthers are attached to the ovary lobe with the help of a filament. Now, you must be wondering what are these pollen grains. These pollen grains, the pollen grains, they are powdery structure which are present inside the anther. And when the anther is fully matured, the pollen grains, they are ruptured out of it and they go and stick on the stigma. So this was about the male reproductive part which is present in a flower. That is known as stamen which includes an anther and a filament. Moving ahead, we have the female reproductive part of the flower that's known as carpal. Carpal includes three parts that stigma, style and an ovary. The major function of the ovary is to produce an ova or an egg, which further helps in reproduction of the flower. Style is a long tube that connects the ovary to the stigma as you all can very well see here. As the name suggests, the stigma is the sticky part. Now what happens when the pollen grains are fully mature, they burst out and they either land on the stigma of the same flower or they might get carried away to the stigma of some other flower. The transfer of this pollen grain from the anther to the stigma of the flower is known as pollination. So we can once again repeat this as pollination refers to the transfer of the pollen grains from the anthers to the stigma of the flower. This is the first step in reproduction. In the process of reproduction, we can say that this is the first step. When these pollen grains, they land upon the stigma, stigma being sticky part, makes all the pollen grains stick to it. Now, what happens when these pollen grains, they stick to the stigma, they form a small tube which is known as a pollen tube. This pollen tube moves through the style and reaches the ovary. Now, one by one, these pollen grains enter inside the ovary and fuses with the egg which is there in the ovary. The fusion of the pollen grain with the ovules or the ova is called fertilization. This is the second and the most important step in the process of reproduction. As fertilization begins, the ovary starts to form the fruit and the petals, they usually dry up and they fall off. This marks a significant event that the ovary has started getting converted into a fruit. Now, 
When you eat fruits like the apple, orange, musk melon, etc., you will find few seeds inside them. Right? And very and in few of the cases you might have seen, for example, if you're eating a mango or a cherry, there is only one seed. Right? Whereas the fruits like watermelon, papaya, they have many seeds. Right? So, dear student, please revise this lesson till here. Try to mark all the difficult words and answer the questions that are followed in the session that I'll be giving you in the written form. Alright? So, Stay safe, stay inside and try to make maximum use of this lockdown period by studying as well. Take care.